So racism uh, is a concept, I think, that exists because there are racists, not because there is such a thing as race. So that's the first thing I think I want to say, that uh, race is a social construct. It is not something that is inherent in the genetic makeup of people. But the fact that race, so-called race, has been used to separate people, to discriminate against people, this is what has made it such a tangible, real thing that we've got to take into account in our society. And in South Africa in particular, race has been something that has been used to socially discriminate, uh, economically discriminate, and on so many different levels made people uh, to suffer in ways that have been socially unjust. So racism has a deep-rooted presence in our society, and because that is the case, we cannot simply say that race does not exist. Uh, we've got to recognize how it makes itself felt and manifests in our society. So for this reason, I think we have to address the ways in which our society, our history, not just in South Africa, I think around the world, around uh, the globe, uh, it exists as a phenomenon, and what we therefore need to do to address it. Um, the first thing I think is to acknowledge its existence, racism, that is. Um, and then when we see it rear its ugly head, to say that we won't try to, to pretend that it's not there. I think racism has taken different forms over, you know, over the time that it's been in its, uh, in existence. Um, and I think there are the crudest forms of racism that manifest in, you know, really foolish and idiotic descriptions of people in demeaning ways. Uh, and that has reared its ugly head. I think it's been as obvious as that uh, even recently. But I think perhaps a lot more insidious and perhaps a lot more dangerous are modern forms of racism that perhaps don't take those overt forms. How does one recognize those? And I think the only thing we can do to, to recognize them and address them is when people feel damaged by them. Many people say that you know, they didn't intend to make a racist comment to say, I'm dealing with a lot of baboons. Uh, you'll find people saying, but I didn't know that to say that was, was racist. I mean, baboons are just, you know, rambunctious uh, uh, animals that make a lot of noise. So when I see people making a lot of noise, I just use that as a description. It's ignorance, it's an unconsciousness of the ways in which racism has been present in our society. So I think no one should be allowed to say, I just didn't know. I think what they need to be made aware of is that they've got to then educate themselves, they've got to find out more, they've got to listen to the people who feel hurt by it and to ask them for their stories about why did that affect you so? Um, and then at, at the very least, to offer the humility and uh, the good grace to say that my experience may not have enabled me to understand the harm and the damage that has been caused uh, to people, to their psyches, to their whole psychological beings by being victims of racism and then at least open themselves to learning about what those things are. So I think there are many different ways in which we need to address the fact that racism exists, even if we don't accept the fact, or uh, accept as a fact that race as a construct, as a phenomenon, has any biological grounds, it has certainly has social and political grounds, and those are the grounds that we need to address. Um, so we cannot ignore it. I think we have to continue to look at it. It will take many different iterations. 
um, in different generations of people and whenever it it rears its head we've got to put it on the table and say what happened here what's behind it what's the story behind it how has it affected you as a human being and how do we then restore good human relations that are based on dignity on respecting the other on accepting that we all have a common humanity and deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Uh, I'd like to encourage all of you at NMMU to please participate in the Racism at NMMU survey. This is a really important project. It is an attempt to get your voices, your experience, the impact that racism has had on you. Without that information, we don't have a sense of the texture and the impact. So please, this is your opportunity. Tell your story, participate in the Racism at NMMU survey.